Okay, here is lesson two, which is measures five, six, seven, and eight of the seventh grade EDBDA etude. All instruments, all wind instruments, have the exact same rhythm um, for the first two measures. So let's go ahead and count and clap that. I'll count and clap and then you join in. One and two and three and one and <coughs> ready and clap. One, two, and three, and one, and three. Your turn, ready, set, and go. One, two, and three, and one, and three. Okay, so um, things you need to look out for on this is that you articulate properly. So the tongue slur, tongue slur, um, in measure five, so T, T -a -t -a. Make sure that you're tonguing and slurring correctly. And then also the legato marking over um, the and of measure six. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to it and then we will join in and play it. Um, I'll play it so that you can hear what it's supposed to sound like and then we will play through it, let's say three times together. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Join in with me. One and two and go. Run and two and again. Last time, ready and play. Something you'll need to pay attention on whenever we start to break into a deeper understanding of the music is that there is a crescendo in measure six. So you'll start out mezzo piano, which is medium soft, and then you'll crescendo to mezzo forte, which is medium loud. Mezzo forte, medium loud, mezzo piano, medium soft. Okay, so that is measure five and six. Let's go ahead and do measure seven and eight. Let's count and clap. So, let me make sure here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like every wind player has the exact same rhythm except for the horns. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and count and clap the French horn part first. You guys have a half note, a quarter note, and then a dotted half note like everyone else. So, the French horn part would count like one, three, one, stop. That's the French horn part. Everyone else, we have three quarter notes, which get a beat each, and then a dotted half note, which gets three beats. So let's count and clap that. One, and ready, and clap. One, two, three, one, stop. Let's count and clap again. Join in with me. Ready, and go. One, two, three, one, stop. Now this is what it sounds like. Your turn, join in with me. Ready and play. Play it one more time. And uh, also you wanna make sure that you're tonguing each note since there are no slur markings. Ready and play. Okay, now you also want to make sure that you don't take a breath throughout that entire thing that we just went over. Okay, so let's play all four measures. This is measure five, six, seven, and eight. Let's play all four measures. I'll play so that you can listen, clap and count along, airplay, do something. Um, that way it'll get you used to it. And then we will play it three times. One and two and three and one and ready and breathe. Now join in, we'll play it two times. Ready and play. Make sure you hold that all the way out. 
Last time, measure five, six, seven, and eight. One, and ready, and breathe. Okay, if my allergies will let me continue on. Seems like every time I go to record these videos, my allergies kick me in the rear. Okay, so that's lesson two. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and then we'll continue on with lesson three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, then depending on what my time looks like here, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Vibachi section and I'm gonna break that into three lessons. And then the last lesson will end up being just a kind of a review because the last line of your etude is the same as the first line of the Vivace section. So let's go ahead and call it and then come back for lesson three. Thanks.